Hello. How you doing, Jennifer? Hello. How Hi. you doing, Jennifer? It's Brian from Rock Eyes. I'm great. And you? Very good, very good. Beyond the Black, a new album coming out, uh, I guess, at the end of this month? Yes, 31st. Right, Heart, Heart of the Hurricane. And I saw a couple videos already from, uh, uh, you know, the disc and stuff like that. And, you know, that's why, uh, you know, I set up the interview because uh, I really enjoyed the videos. Thank you very much. No problem. Let's go back to 2007 when you first had an all-female band. Um, did you play originals? Um, what do you mean? Like, did, did you play, like, um, you know, no cover songs or all your original uh, songs when you did the cover band? Um, when do you mean? In 2007. In, in 2007? Yeah, it says uh, Beyond the Black, uh, uh, Sapphire or uh, Saphir. Oh, you might you mean Sapphire? Right. That was another band. Uh huh. And uh, we we had own songs in German. Uh huh. And it was like pop rock. Right. And uh, it, it was like one cover, I think, but um, the most of it was where, um, yeah normal songs no new songs <laughs> right wow wow and in 2014 you had uh, beyond the black your debut disc uh, songs of love and death um can you tell me anything about that album because i really haven't heard it yet um oh is, is it kind of heavy is it, it kind of same kind uh, as the new disc or tell me a little bit about it it's not that heavy than the new album um, it's a bit more symphonic. Right. And, um, yeah, I think as well that you can hear that we grew up a bit in uh -huh. this album, but it's also a really, really good album, I think, because when you think about that we won the Metal Hammer Award for it, so you, right. you have to listen to it. <laughs> wow. I will, I will, you know. Great. And and then in 2015, you had Lost in Forever. And, yeah. And um, again, I, ha I haven't had a chance, uh, you know, to listen to that either. Um, was it a big change from the first album to the second? Um, I think it was not a big change. Um, it was as well a bit harder than before i think we got with the three three albums we got harder and harder uh -huh. so um yeah i think this one uh, that was also a very quick one when i can say that because uh we did this album in, uh, during three months that was yeah in, in the one thing you had this the scorpions uh, uh -huh. support tour right so we wanted to have some new songs for that because you can't f have a full uh, set with uh, just one album. Right. Yes. And um, yeah, that's why we wanted to have a second uh, second album then. And uh, but it was like having a lot of compromises. Um, that was not like when you think about uh, the production that you could couldn't like. Uh, we, we have two production teams that you have to know before. And um, so you always have to, like, <laughs> uh, marry uh, both uh, sounds uh, right. together. Uh -huh. And um, we couldn't do that there a lot. That was a bit sad, I think. But at this album now, we we had, like, one year. Uh -huh. And that was very important for me. And um, so we didn't have that much compromises. Right, yeah. right. Now, in 2016, you played Walkin'. Um, tell me what that experience is like. Um, Walkin' is like a second family for us because, uh, or a second home, uh, because we, our first show at Wacken, uh, was at Wacken in 2014. Right. A very first show, show, and then every year again, um, till last year. And, uh, this year we did just some promo stuff, but, um, I also, uh, 
did uh, like uh, I don't know how to say it in English practicum. Uh huh. Um, I at Wacken, <laughs> so I know everyone there, and um, it's always like coming home. Yeah, so it always feels uh, great to be there. Cool, cool. Now uh, you were signed by the Palm Records. Um, can you tell me how how that worked out? Did you contact them? Did they contact you? Or how'd that work out? Um, I think they contacted us um, as they heard that we will change our um, our label. But I'm not really sure. But I just know that they really wanted to to work with us. Right. And um, I think Napalm is a very big uh, label. Uh, we still have Air Force One as a universal sub-label and uh, in Germany, Austria and in Switzerland. And um, out, of these area, uh, out of this area, we have an international deal with Napalm. Yeah, and I think uh, it works very well till now. And um, there could be a good future together. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Now, Hearts of the Hurricane... Uh, as you said, comes out this month and stuff like that. And you did a couple of videos. Do you enjoy doing like live videos? Yes, uh -huh. I think that is what we always do. And um, I think the, that the people could see that we're like musicians, not actors. <laughs> right. I but but I love to to act here and there uh, because I I I don't know if you know that I had a very small uh, role in, in a German movie uh, one year ago. Right. And um, that was a, a great thing, um, an interesting thing. Um, and I would love to do that again sometime. Right. Wow. Now, uh, your stage wear, um, is it easy for you to pick out what you really like or... Uh, does someone tell you, you know, you got to wear this or whatever like, <laughs> during your videos? I always wear what I want to wear. Oh, cool. <laughs> but cool. Um, but uh, I, of course, I have someone that is uh, like, in, yeah, looking with me together what I could wear for the next album. Right. And uh, this time I, <laughs> I, I'm so proud of everything because we really made a, a special uh, own thing. Um, you know that that new, um, new thing. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but the new outf uh, outfit, the main outfit right. uh, during the performance uh, that is not bought. It is made for me. And... Um, I love that dress, and I have four dresses more for this whole album, and I'm so proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Do you uh, uh, foresee uh, uh, any U.S. dates uh, during this uh, tour? Uh, if we plan to go to the United States? Yes. Um, we wanted to go, but um, I don't think that it work to now to have a fixed plan right and uh but but we would love to come of course yeah right now the the rest of the year what does the band have planned for the rest of the year um we have a, a short release tour in germany and then we have some special things like a full metal cruise or full metal holiday that's the first time ever, and we have, have some. We have fan festival. I heard a lot about in in uh, the Netherlands, and uh, we plan to to tour to make a support tour um, that is not hundred percent fixed now, just ninety nine percent. So I can't tell you about that, but maybe uh, fingers crossed that it will happen. And um, then next year in two thousand nineteen, we. Uh, uh, we'll have a big European headline tour. Um, uh, maybe outside of Europe as well. But um, yeah, we have to look how the people react to our new album. Right. So we can decide, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, like you said, you, you, we're supporting Scorpions. How, how do bands like the Headliners treat uh, Beyond the Black? 
You mean how they wear it? Throughout? No, how, 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 you know, as you're an opening band, do they come out and watch you? Do they make any comments? Oh. Do, you know, do you get to talk to them or anything? Yes, um, sometimes. And most, most of all, uh, we had uh, like some some things with with scorpions. Uh, right. It was Klaus. Uh, I talked a lot, uh -huh. and we had one interview together. He was like, <laughs> uh, we remind him uh, uh, to. Um, uh, when they were younger, a uh, younger band, you know right. what I mean? Right. Uh, so it was very emotional a bit, and uh, we we saw each other at another uh, event and talked together. So it, it was really, he's really, really nice. And um, with Epica and Power Wolf and everyone, we, I know Power Wolf is from the same place as I come from. Right. So uh, <laughs> we... Uh, we were like friends from the first time. <laughs> cool. And um, yeah, it's always um, very open when we come to any tour. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, Jennifer, congratulations on the new album, Beyond the Black Heart of the Hurricane. It was great talking to you. Would you like to say anything to the fans out there? Of course. Uh, if I hope very much that you like our new album. Uh, we are very proud of it. And, uh, yeah, we would love to come to your beautiful country. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.